Because that's a sermon that I heard once heard preached. Um, a good friend of mine, Callie Crowder, who you know, she sent me a sermon um, from a pastor, and he preached a message called Necessary Endings. And he got the message from a book that he read, and I later went out and I read it uh, by Dr. Henry Cloud called Necessary Endings. And the concept is, in life, in order for there to be a new beginning, there must be, and I want to underline that word, must, not that, you know, it should be, it must be a necessary ending, not just a regular ending, but a necessary ending. And as I'm listening to you and I'm, you know, just hearing and following the timeline of, you know, in my 20s, I work with, with uh, uh, Keith Klinkscales and Lynn Burnett. Then I went on the puff. I still had the energy. But as I was winding down, it went to just, can you speak about because sometimes even when the opportunity looks great. You, in order for you to advance to the next level of your life, the next level of your career, there must be a necessary ending. Can you speak when should people go? When should people know this served its purpose? There's a winter, a spring, a summer, and a fall. This was my spring over here. Yep. Now it's time for me to go into my summer and it might not be, you know, I might be leaving somebody I love. I might be leaving somebody I, I enjoy working with every single day. Yeah. But it served its purpose. Uh, <clears throat> so you know, what's funny? most most people stay too long. Right. And, 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 and by the way, with those types of personalities, it, it makes sense. Right. Because because listen, you know. You're working with these people and a good, one of the value propositions of working with them is like being connected to them. So like, I you know, when you're younger, like, you know, you walked into the, you walked up to a club, right. And you brought out your bad boy card. They letting you in. They don't have to know who you are. The bad, like I always make the joke of like that title is not going to get you in the club, right? You need titles to get you in the club. That's and right. so, um, so I think that what you, the fear is, you know, if I disconnect from the energy of this movement, Will I be able to recreate it somewhere else on my own, right? And we've seen it, like in the bad boy scenario, right? There's a million people that left bad boy at the highest of highs and ended up really having to come back because they could never recreate that energy someplace else. I and mean, then, you know, there's a laundry list of those people, right? Um, and so, you know, my litmus test, quite honestly, was, was always that, um, and I think this is probably why I, you know, I did so well in those rooms. You know, I was always most excited to be connected, like the most important people that I was connected to was my family, right? And so to the extent that, you know, it was going to be good for me and my family, then it made sense. When it stopped being good for me and my family, then I moved on to the next thing. And I moved on with the confidence that I knew for sure that it was me, right? So sometimes when you're working with Puff and you're trying to get somebody on the phone, Right. Oh, this is Jamil from Blue Flame. You know, uh, uh, Sean Combs told me to call you. That's easier to get on the phone at a certain point when it just becomes, you know, this is Jamil Spencer on the phone and people want to show up for Jamil Spencer. Then, you know, it's you. There you go. So, you know, I think it's more about, uh, you know, just being confident that that you bring in as much value as, as you're getting by the association. Um, again, like I said, I didn't leave working with Puff thinking, let me go work with Jay-Z now. Right. It's just kind of happened. Um, because it made sense. I remember actually, actually the way I actually got to Jay was I was working with Dane. I, um, I had come to him and said, I was going to help him with this ad campaign as a consultant. And, and again, very similar to like, how do you get these opportunities? I said, you know what? I'll come help you do this. You don't even got to pay me. Don't pay me. I said, but at the end of 30 days, if you think it has value, then pay me what you think it's worth. Right. And so 30 days came, I did my thing. I walked into the CFO's office he had met literally 15 other um, marketing people that had met Damon before. So he didn't think I was serious. And he thought that he, he told me to go meet with Jay. You want to get paid? Jay's running the company now. You got, you got to go talk to Jay-Z. And that, that was his way of saying, leave me alone. Because he, he didn't think there was any <laughs> universe that I was going to go and have a meeting with Jay. And I was like, oh, go meet with Jay? Okay, cool. And I called Carlene, <laughs> right? And I went up to Def Jam and I sat in the office with Jay and Tracy Waples and Jay Brown and Tata 
for an hour and 45 minutes. We brainstormed this whole thing. And so, you know, you know, ultimately you, you got to know that what you're bringing to the table has value. And, and once the relationship becomes no longer is mutually beneficial, right? That, that's what, that's what all relationships need to be mutually beneficial. When they stop being mutually beneficial and they become one-sided, if you can't have a conversation and right-size them, it's time to move on. But what happens is most people stay too long because they're afraid that they can't reinvent themselves somewhere else. That if it ain't, you know, Jamil from Bad Boy or Jamil from Rockefeller or Jamil or whatever it is, if your name ain't, if, 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 if after your name, you can't associate big time movement, big moment thing, then people ain't taking the call the same. And um, I never really was concerned about that because, like I said, I was always doing it for my family. And, and, I, and, I, and like, like I said, to the extent that it stopped making sense for me and my family, then it, don't, then it just don't make sense. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love.